Today's absolutely about getting people engaged, getting people to understand it, give them the opportunity to feel a bit excited about their opportunity to gain their status. If they come away from our sessions understanding what the criteria are and how their jobs fit with EngTech, we've done our job. Engineering is facing a serious skills shortage with a need for another 450,000 technicians by 2020. We come in and give a short presentation just to explain the very basics around why EngTech now is important and why it is that Amy, in this instance, have pulled us in. Following that, we have a, a good workshop session in which people break into their groups. They spend a little bit of time looking at the competencies required for professional registration and thinking about and writing down how that applies to their job. This is all about getting across that. That form can be filled up with the work you're already doing. The guys out there who are doing this work and proving themselves on a daily basis, they deserve this. It's already there for them. It's just about them having the confidence and the opportunity to step up and claim it. One of the workshop exercises was actually to fill in part of one of the uh, application forms um, with your experience. So that was quite good because it, it showed me that I had got the relevant experience to be able to do this. Even though I'm a fresh face in the industry, I've got the competencies, got the experience, got the qualifications. It's not a big obstacle to get the letters after your name. In order to meet your EngTech registration requirements, when you're filling out the application form, you'll focus on five competencies. Competence A, use engineering knowledge and understanding to apply technical and practical skills. Competence B, design, use, install and maintain engineering technology and services. Competence C, accept and exercise personal responsibility. Competence D, use effective communications and interpersonal skills. Competence E, recognise your commitment and obligations to society and to your profession. Before today, I didn't know anything at all about EngTech. I'd seen the letters after people's names, but didn't really have an understanding of what it was all about. When I heard about it in the Army, I didn't quite know how to apply um, for the EngTech, and coming to the session today has helped. It's answered a few of my questions, so it's been really good. I think I will pursue the opportunity. Uh, it's something that's available. Um, I can't see any downsides to it, really. I'm probably going to be eligible for it uh, from the experience point of view. So that's very good. It's been good to talk to other technicians and other, other people from around the business that are doing, looking at going on a similar path to me. I've written two of my reports for my development objectives. I'm, I'm sort of starting the process. In terms of the next steps following the workshops, what's really, really important now is that that individual progresses this by speaking to the institutions and then that way the individual can speak directly to the membership development officers and then find out the process of registration. They can find out how they can evidence their competencies and then they can find out the timeframes involved. I think it will make me more employable. Uh, I also think Amy will be able to, as a consulting engineer, um, they'll be able to get me involved in a lot more stuff and clients will pay for me basically working on their, their projects. What we try to do is, is, is make it as easy as possible so if one of our um, employees has got the will then you know, we'll help them find the way to gain their professional qualification. We pay their annual subscriptions to their professional institutions, we pay their registration fees to the Engineering Council. If you've got accreditation which is recognised worldwide, then obviously that means your opportunities are now worldwide opportunities. EngTech is fantastic because it gives those engineering technicians um, a professional qualification and sets them on a path towards um, career-long development. It's a mark of quality, which is great. <laughs>